Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everybody is doing great today. Today I got a product from Spigen and it is called the Gl Glasser Easy Fit Screen Protector for the front screen protector. And it also has a hinge protector, which I think is interesting. I've never used one of those on my Z Fold of any kind. Let's see, it, it tells you right here specifically um, easy installation, oleophobic coating, which is huge. Sometimes the cheaper ones don't have that on there and it's a bummer. Real glass, eh, that's okay. Um, glass is glass and glass breaks, so sometimes you gotta change these. And this says uh, surface hardness of 9H, whatever that means. A little installation video, which we're not gonna watch and let's <laughs> and let's uh, get it open i figured since i have to put one of these on here i might as well uh, do a video on it so anybody else uh, wants to take a look at this particular product uh, first vegan one i've ever used i've never used one i definitely use a screen protector on my folds and the biggest reason why i do that is because i open mine all the time and then i have it sitting flat all the time so as you can tell, as you imagine, I don't have a case often, and so that screen is constantly touching the surface. And when you're on, you know, stone kitchen cat or counters, all kinds of stuff. And I, I just kind of really just throw it down there. I don't pay much attention to it. I read, I write, I do all kinds of stuff. And so if you have any grit or grime on there, you want to protect that screen. Also, I also have a bad habit of throwing these in my gym bags all over the place. Uh, sometimes. A lot of times I'll have two phones. I always carry two phones because I have a, uh, an iPhone that I have to carry for work and I'll just grab them like that, sandwich them, and that's not good. So, giant camera bump against the screen, that's not good. Even with this uh, Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, I still think it would probably scratch it after a while. Uh, does anybody else do that? Just kind of throw those together. It doesn't work really well. Okay, let's see here. Let's shut that off and get it out of the way. Let's see what we got here in the box. A little squeegee. Some instructions, installation instructions. Uh, let's see, we got a little envelope here. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here. I usually buy the super cheap ones, and so I don't really pay attention. Oh, it's got a little squeegee. I'm not sure what's going on there. That's for bubbles, dust removal sticker, extremely important. Of course, you got your cleaner. And then you have two lens cleaning wipes. Fantastic. And then you have this hinge film, which I'm guessing is not not plastic or not metal no it's not glass obviously it must be some kind of plastic or something uh, and then that has a bunch of instructions on how to put that on i might have to stop and read that because i've never done one of those before uh, this is one of those screen processors that comes with the cool little installer uh, doohickey adapter which i think is cool it's pretty helpful i think uh, especially if you're not really good at putting these on without getting a lot of air bubbles and stuff on there so i think it's cool uh, i like it we'll see how it works out okay let's see here we got cleaning wipes back film put that on there push that together pull the sticker pop it out squeegee any bubbles out oh we got a little extra protector film that's cool let's take a look at the protector it's in this that is not it where's the protector not in the box. No. Oh. So, yeah. So the protector is actually already installed in the thing. Oh, that's cool. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's pretty cool. This uh, protector was about, let's see, $18, I think, which is a little more than I like to spend. I'm kind of cheap when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, I don't know why, because I usually break these, and even the super good ones break eventually. And so I try not to invest too much money in them because I like to swap them out. But I really like speaking products, and so I wanted to give theirs a shot. Maybe it'll last longer. Maybe I, maybe if I do spend a little bit more money, it'll actually mean that uh, you know I get a little bit better quality. We'll see. All right, so that looks pretty clean to me. I am gonna go ahead and hit it, hit it with a sticker anyways, because man, I'm telling you, there's stuff on here. And just so you know, I've never done this on video before, so this should be really interesting. Uh, whether I'm looking through a camera 
or not, but I thought I could probably get it done because it has this fancy little adapter thing. All right, we got words that say top. So that guy is gonna go on there like that. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Let's pull this off. I think there's something I gotta pull off here. Remove, remove. Oh, there it is. Come on, Clint, use your brain here. Yeah, so you pull that off. Usually don't want it facing out just in case there's some dust that's gonna fall. So now that is the adhesive side of that. Let's make sure we got the top, top of the phone. And actually, I think I'm gonna kinda, go. no, that didn't work. Let's go ahead and just leave it down. Just leave it on the ground and push it in there. There you go. And now you press here and then I can tell, I can see it through there. I don't know if you saw that or not, but the bubbles shoot down as it as it connects. And so far I am freakishly impressed with this methodology here. I really like it. I wonder if we're gonna even need the squeegee on this. Probably. Alright, so it says wait 30 seconds. I'm not sure what 30 seconds is. Alright, there you go. So then you got a big huge thing here. This says remove from here. Alright, let's try that. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, got it. All right, there we go. Let's pull that off. Pull it off. Ooh, okay. Swing. Okay. Now remember, we got an extra film on there. All right, so then that's good. And then I think we hold this and pull. Yep. Pop that off. Son of a biscuit. That's freaking cool. Okay. Now we still have this top spring on here, so I don't know if those bubbles are on this top one or if it's actually in the thing. And voila, we'll pull it off. I got one little piece of lint on there. See, it always happens, man. And there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, once you get it in there, there is absolutely nothing you can do about those dusty things. But I'm telling you right now, that is probably my fault on the install. Didn't quite get it all off or I'm talking too much while I'm doing this, but you know, you can't really see it once it's turned on. So it doesn't really matter much, I don't think. Yeah, I can see it there a little bit. It'll probably bug me, uh, but I'll get it changed out eventually. And man, that looks great. I really like that. Now let's take a look at this, um, this hinge thing here. I've never done one of these before, but I'm gonna give it a shot just because it came in the box and which means I paid for it. So let's give that a shot. Let's pull this out. Pull that out of there. I got trash everywhere around here. It says number one, remove the perfective film. Two, remove that. Remove film. What? Four, remove film. Okay. Oh, I see. This is one of those ones that are split in half. So you pop that off. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that's how you center it. I guess I better look at the instructions. Hold on. That, so we're gonna line it up right over the, oh look, see it lines right up with the Samsung. Clever, clever. So you get that Samsung in the middle and you get that locked in there, center that baby up and you are good to go. And so then you pop that up like that and wait, that's number three. Let's make sure we go in order here. Uh, pop that up there like that and take off number two. And you usually just kind of slide these down there like that. And then get that really good on there before I pull this one up. Then you pull this one up, do the same thing. Slide it as it goes. Okay. And voila. How about that? That's probably on the outside one. So once we peel that off, we're going to be good to go. Look, and then number four takes that. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Okay, we nailed that one. Nailed that. Wow. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I don't think you can see it, but it doesn't look like it's even on there. I mean, that is money right there. It's nice work, Spigen. I really like that install. So let's see here. We got, let's go back to this guy here. Um, so you can just see, you can see it doesn't go all the way to the bottom or the sides, which is good. We don't want that. 
uh, because we're going to throw a case on there real quick. Let me grab a case. Um, this is the Samsung case, and yeah, so it, even even with a case on there, it looks like we're pretty good. No problem, right there. Yeah. Pop that case off. That way we can pop the case on and off. I like that. All right, let's do the the first unfolding with this. Man, it's making me nervous for some reason. Okay, <clears throat> unfold. That made a weird queaky sound. Did you hear that? <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Hmm. What do you guys think? It doesn't mess it up. It looks fine. I'm not scratching it or anything. It's still stuck on there, but it is definitely making... Let's see if it wears out as we work it in. But I'm going to leave it on there. Give it a shot. See what it looks like. I like it. Okay. Yeah, it makes it a little bit... Whoa! Yeah, definitely a little bit harder to open. Jeez, did you see that? Man, trippy. And let's see here. Pretty oreophobic. Looks like that's working pretty good. Easy to wipe down. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, one piece of dust there. Not a bad install through the camera. I bet you this will break, and I might just buy another one of these because I like it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reserve judgment for this spine hinge cover. And, yeah, let's see if it loosens up. If it doesn't loosen up, I don't know if I'll like it or not. But, anyways... Thanks for hanging out with me for this install, guys. Uh, see you on the next one.